The simple handle on this knitting carryall is best made by bending. It keeps the grain running along the profile of the handle for the maximum strength. It could be made with laminations, but I chose to steam bend it. I used Rockler's steam bending kit. You can find lots of plans online for building your own setup, but Rockler's kit comes with a very nice little electric steam generator and all the fittings you'll need. All you have to supply is the box. The steam soaks all the way through the wood material and breaks down some of the fibers, making it pliable. Wood that's been air dried will steam more easily than kiln dried lumber. But in either case, you'll need to get your lumber up to 212 degrees and leave it there for about an hour per inch of thickness. Throw a couple of extra pieces in as a test strip so that you can pull one out and check its flexibility without ruining the parts that you're trying to steam. You're going to want everything ready before you pull your parts out of the steam box and start to bend them around a form. There's a very narrow window of opportunity to get the bending done and get the part clamped around your form before it starts to stiffen up again. Because this is a double bend, I'm going to secure the center first and then bring the wings in. Now notice I'm not going to clamp this fully tight at this point. I just want to get it wrapped around the form so that I can get the other wing done as well. With the parts mostly formed, now I can go back in and add the other clamps. I want to work from the center out to the wings to make sure that everything's tight against the form. Notice how the form actually forces the part into a bend that's more than 90 degrees at the two corners. This is because I know that there'll be a certain amount of spring back when I release the uh, dried part from the form. How much to overbend is kind of a matter of experience. As long as you're close, you'll be okay because the part will be flexible once it's dried. It's critical to make sure that the part is properly steamed before you attempt to bend it. Notice how much trouble I'm having bending this second leg, and yes, it does crack along the bend line. A sure sign that I rushed the process. Let the part completely dry before separating it from the form. A couple of hours at least, or overnight is even better. As I remove the last of the clamps, you can certainly see the part springing open away from the form. But the legs turned out to be nearly vertical, so it looks like I guessed right on the overbend. Now the legs just need to be trimmed and the handle added to the project. The oval rings seen here with this handle are even easier to bend. I simply used a closed form and bent the rings inside it to let them cool. Very little needed here in the way of clamping. The spring back of the wood is going to provide most of the pressure holding it to the outside of the form that you need. Just make sure that it's touching all the way around and, and a nice even bend is achieved. Mostly you'll only need to clamp the ends tight against the form to make sure that they stay in place. Once you learn the basics of steam bending with a few simple projects, the possibilities are almost endless.